This is the book of Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicators or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. All right. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the house of David, the men, women, and children predestined for the kingdom, particularly the men who go out to the highways and the byways around the four corners of the earth, the prophesy the kingdom, okay, to, uh, Shalom to the speckle of birds, and also Shalom to the few sisters that are learning from the elders on the coming board, and I mean very few sisters. Shalom. All right. Uh, this uh, Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicators or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay. So is the Lord uh, dealing with Esau? The Lord, do the Lord love Esau? No, he's been rejected. Okay. Now let's go into that word profane in the Greek. G952. Uh Bebelos, and it means accessible, lawful to be trodden, of place, profane, unhallowed, common, public place, of men, ungodly. So uh, Esau is an adversary. He's ungodly. It was wired in him to be wicked, evil, and ungodly. Okay? That's why so much wickedness going on in the earth. Because he... Uh, Job 9 24 say the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. All right. And what happened if the earth is given unto the hand of wicked? The whole earth is going to be wicked. And the people that dwell in it is going to be wicked. Everything is going to be wicked, man. Let's go uh, to the prove that. Let's go to the book of uh, Zerah. This is the book of Sirach 10 and 1. A wise, a wise judge will instruct his people. Okay? A wise judge. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Okay? So is this man a wise judge? Hell no. Okay? It's not wiring him to be wise. That's why so many chemtrails in the air. GMOs, okay, the, the minds of the people are bugged out, okay, this government is, is wicked, it's full of sorcery, it's full of witchcraft, okay, idols, okay, this is a wicked government, and th this government is an adversary across the world, okay, the, the nations are mad, the nations are angry, okay, so it's saying the government of a prudent man is well ordered, well, it's Esau is a prudent man? No. It's not. His DNA is wired to be wicked. And he don't have any understanding. Okay? And that can be proven through the ways of this, uh, the, 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 basically, this system, the way of how this world is ran. Okay? This man is not, you know, he's not smart enough to take care of the people. Okay? You know, the people is actually working for him and he's killing them. You know? So he's not smart enough to even run this society. You know, he's killing his own people. He has killed every aspect of human life, animal life, whatever, plant life, whatever it is, man. This man is not pre. He don't know how to run the earth properly. He don't know. It's not in him to get along with everybody. This man is a weapon. He's a sword and he's imprudent. Right? The Lord don't love him. Okay. The Lord only loves one people, and we can that can be proven, okay? The Lord is only dealing with one people, okay? And the Lord loves his people, okay? You know, just because the Most High gave him a rulership don't mean he's accepted in the Lord's eyes, 
Okay? It wasn't uh, preordained to give him a covenant and give him a, uh, 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 to, 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 to basically be dealing with him, man. That's not in the scriptures. You're nowhere in the scripture you'll find that the Lord loves Esau. Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Second Ezra. Chapter 5. And I think around about the 20, 20. Twenty-seven, okay. No, twenty-eight. No, twenty-seven. Second Ezra is five and twenty-seven. And among all the multitudes of people, thou have gotten thee one people, and unto his and, and unto this people, whom you lovest, okay, thou givest uh, gavest a law that is approved of all. So that right there say unto this people whom thou lovest. So he only loved one people. All right. And gave of, and, and thou gave of a law that is approved above all. So he gave a law to this one people. Okay? You know? Let's go to Amos. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only, you only, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You see that? When the Lord deals with Esau, he's going to destroy him. But when the Lord deals with his people, he punishes them as a difference. Okay? You can be punished just like a son, your son, right? If your son disobey you, you punish him. But that doesn't mean you don't love him. Okay? You don't destroy your son. You punish him for a duration of time. And that's, what, that's what's going on with the Israelites. That's how you know that he loves us. Okay? And love us only. Because he punished us for a duration of time. Okay? All right? But for the Edomites, they will be enslaved and destroyed. Okay? It's a difference. Okay? Let's see if I can find this in Baruch real quick. Baruch 4 and 4. O Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known to us. You see that? So the Lord is dealing with the Israelites, the elect men of Israel at this present moment. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Verse 6. This is the point. Ye were not sold to the nations. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wrath. Ye were delivered unto your enemy, unto the enemies. So that's 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 a perfect scripture that describes that a punishment and destruction could be two different things. If the Lord wanted to destroy us, He could have just totally annihilated our race and not even gave a you know you know, gave a law to another people, man. But it said you were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to rev. 
you will deliver unto the nation. So that's a punishment. When, when the Lord delivers you to a nation, you can be redeemed. Okay? You can be, you can, and that's what's going on. This the most high is, is, have bought us back, man. You know? And, and, and the, 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 the promises are going to play out through his people. All right? So for Esau, let's go to Obadiah. So, like, give me a second. Obadiah. Wait a minute. Okay. Obadiah 1 and 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shall concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor. Okay. From the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathens. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. I, behold, I have made thee small among the heathens, that her are greatly despised. Now let's look up the word despised in the Hebrew, which would be baza, baza, baza. Well, Baza I is Baza, and uh, <clears throat> to disdain, despise, disdain. Okay? Think to scorn, vile person, to despise. Hold in contempt, disdain, to despise, regard with contempt. You see that? To be despised, to be despicable. To be vile, worthless. Okay, these all right. He's worthless. Okay, to cause to despise. So ain't no way you can make that definition seem that God love everybody. That God love the Edomites and the Edomites. You know, God that 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 don't say right there that He love the Edomites. He said concerning Edom, you know. He is against them. Let us rise up. Let us rise up in the battle. You know. Let us rise against her in the battle. Okay. All right. Let's go now to the point. See. Let's go to verse eight. Shall I not in that day say the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, even destroy? The wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the mouths of Esau. Now, when you look up that word destroy, you get the word abide. When we say in the Hebrew, abide, babal, meaning destroy Babylon. So, when you look up the word destroy, abide is the Hebrew word, which means perish, vain, vanish, go astray, be destroyed. Perish, die, be exterminated. You see that? Because <coughs> they're gonna be, it's, hey, they're gonna serve that thousand year period of hardcore bondage. I'm talking about, you know, hardcore bondage. And guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna be exterminated. Exterminated. Okay, perish, be lost, strayed to destroy, kill, cause to perish, to give up. And you know it's easy. It's sad that we got to even keep explaining that because you still got, you know, uh, uh, people. You know, you got nigga with fringes on saying that Esau is gonna be saved. The Most High doesn't hate him, giving this devil hope. You know, and that, and the, hey, that ain't what the Lord said, man. Hey, verse nine. And thy mighty men, O T men, which is the Germans, okay, shall be dismayed. To the ends that every one of the mount, every one of the mount of Esau, every one of the mount of Esau, 
every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. Come on, man. Verse 10. Come on, man. Come on, man. You ain't no way. Ain't no way you can make you can fit this devil in, you know, in the covenant. Or or saying that this man is going to be walking around in our kingdom. All right? And why in the hell would you want him? Hey, with the most high hate, you supposed to hate it too. Okay? For the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Okay? All right? Verse 18, I'm going to skip down to 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire in the house of Joseph a plain, and the house of Esau for stubble. Let's look at the word stubble. Quash. Okay? As dry, scrawl, stubble, ain't too much on that. Stubble, step. Okay? And they shall kindle in them and devour them. Okay? Shall devour them and there shall not be. Come on, man. How you can't understand this? And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. Come on, man. Ain't no way you can have a soft spot for Esau, man. Ain't no way you can have a soft spot for Esau, man. Okay? The Lord is going to utter his judgment, all right, through his people, man. They're going to get at Esau through his people, man. The Lord is going to get at Esau through his people. Let's prove that. No, I gotta go there. East uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel twenty-five, and let's go to verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, the power I will stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman. Okay. And they of the Dan shall fall by the sword. Okay, verse 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hands of my people Israel. I'm, I got to read that again. Ezekiel 25 and 14. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hands of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, the power. So the Lord is going to get at Esau by the hands of his people Israel. The people, okay, his people went into slavery. Yes, we did. You know, over, over 12 to 14 times we've been into slavery. Okay, under every nation under the sun. But that doesn't mean that the Lord have cast off his people. Okay, that's what King David said that the Lord will not cast off his people. Okay, but for the for Edom, the Edomites, Esau, all right, he have hatred. For he, he hates Esau. He only loves his people Israel, but he hates Esau. He got, a, he got, he got hate for Esau, and we should hate him as well. <clears throat> and they shall do and eat them according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. Okay? Let's go to Romans 9 and 13. Okay? Romans 9 and 13. Okay? As it is written, Jacob have I love. But Esau have I hated. Now look at look at that word hated. Okay. All right. To detest, especially to persecute by extension, to love less, hate for, to hate, pursue with hatred, detest, okay? To be hated, detested, 
Okay? You see that? And some people will look at the word, they go, he love him less. He love him, but he love him. No, the Lord hate him, man. He have, uh, he, he have you know, disdain for Esau, man. The Lord doesn't love Esau. How are you going to love somebody, but you're going to cut them off forever? You're going to slave them for a thousand years and cut them off forever. We've been enslaved over a thousand years, but guess what? We woke. We came back to our, he, that's how you know he love us. He, we came back to our nationality. Okay, we came back to our nationality. You know, he gave us the laws back. That he gave us the language back. You know, I will restore to them a pure language. Okay, that we may call upon the name of the Lord. That's love. Ain't no love for Esau. The Lord got pure hate for Esau, man. Pure hate. And all you, uh, hey, all you cracker loving niggas, man. Hey, hey. You're going to be destroyed right along with him because you don't want to let his hand go. You're trying to you got a soft spot for him, okay? You got a soft spot for him, and, and he's the enemy. How in the hell? Cause look at this man. Look what this man done did. Look at this man done destroyed everything, and you got a soft spot for him? Jeremiah 51, let's go there real quick. Jeremiah 51, let's go to verse 19. All right, start at 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former, former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. Not everybody, Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Verse 20, thou art my battle axe, and weapons of war. With thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. Who? The Israelites are going to do that. The Lord is going to use the Israelites to get rid of these other nations, man, to destroy these nations. Okay? Destroy the kingdom. And with thee I will break in pieces the horses, the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. You see that? So the Lord only loves his people. Let's go to 2nd Ezra 6. And for you people who, who, who are teaching that, you know, Esau can be saved and the Lord don't hate him, man. Shame on you, man. Shame on you teaching that madness, man. All right, this is the book of 2nd Ezra 6 and 56, okay? I'm going to start at 54. And after, and after these, Adam also, whom thou made of Lord, of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also, also whom thou hast chosen. The Lord already always made a separation between the other nations and Israel to prove that he loved his people and he don't deal with the rest of, you know, the rest of the nations. And he, already, he always made a separation. Between who he loved and who he disliked. Okay, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made it the world for our sake. Come on, man. The Lord made the world for who? The Israelites. All right, there's a world that's made for the, the world. <laughs> you can understand that. The world of the Israelites is who the Lord has chosen. It was made for the world, the physical world. Okay, verse 56. As for the other people which also come about them, thou hast said that they are nothing. How the hell are you going to love somebody and you saying, how the hell are you going to love these heathens? And he said right here that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. Hey, what spittle? I wait. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord, behold these heathens, which have ever been recruited as, as they've been recruited as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Why? Because we had to be punished as Israelites for going off. He's going to use a nation that he don't love, that he dislike, that he recruit as nothing. A nation that he regarded spit to rule over us. That's how low he brought us. 
Okay? Just because the Lord, I'm going to say this for some of you out there. Just because the Lord gave a rulership to the to the to the wicked doesn't mean he love them. Okay? But we thy people whom thou have called thy firstborn, thy only begot the only begotten and fervent lover, are given unto their hands. You see that? For a duration of time. Eventually he will cause us to stand on our feet and prophesy. All right, and after that, the destruction of Babylon, and after that, guess what? The the kingdom under our Lord Yahweh. That's love, man. All right. <clears throat> hey, man. Hopefully, you know, my brother was edified through the video. That's all I got on that. Shalom.